TGen has a historic focus on pancreas cancer, on brain cancer, on skin cancers like melanoma. We're expanding new research into the area of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and we're looking especially at cancers that are rare, including those associated with pediatric cancer, is a major part of what we're looking at today. What makes TGen great is we're that rare place which really intersects clinic, the treating physician and the patients, and then the most advanced technology available out there today to really try and bring that together to help patients. The approach we're taking is to profile the patient's tumor and figure out what's unique in that tumor and what could we target, then recommend up to four drugs. So we're gonna go at it with a combination, try to hit multiple pathways based on the genomics of the patient's tumor. The kind of work that we've been able to do here is now help to say, here's a drug that has some efficacy in 20% of patients, but if you bring that patient sample into a TGen lab, we can tell you who those 20% are and now instead of 20% success rate with that drug, it's 90% success rate with that drug. For these tumors, we're doing whole exome sequencing and also RNA sequencing. We have large amounts of data. So the goal now is we're starting to go back and do larger meta-analyses. That's gonna help us better understand the disease. Where I'm so excited right now to be pushing forward is this merging of treatments that can directly attack the tumor, but can also be used to wake up the immune system to see the foreigner that that tumor is. Immunotherapy is focused on activating that immune system against a tumor that is different. This is uncharted territory. The next generation of precision medicine will actually come out of liquid biopsies. We can take blood samples and see not only what drug we can give a given patient, but how is their tumor changing over time and how, how should we adapt our treatment. TGen is where I truly have the chance to change a patient's life, to change patient outcomes. A lot of the private donations we get really allow us to make those kind of game-changing discoveries that then do lead into large projects and large grants. TGen will find the targets. A group like City of Hope will find a way to hit the target, and the clinical site will deliver the therapy, and the patients, families, and the advocates, they will cradle the enterprise. I now have nephews and a niece and that you want to see for my own siblings and then also for the generation after them and the generation after them that we're going to make vast improvements in the next couple years against these really complex and devastating diseases. So just five years ago on the front page of the New York Times, a Nobel Prize winner and head of the National Institutes of Health said that genomics is for science and not for medicine. Right now, there's a dozen precision medicine genomic-enabled trials at TGen. The exciting part is of our last 200 patients that we've looked at, 82% of them actually received the treatment defined by the genomic information. So this is not just about science. This is about bringing this into the practice of medicine today.